It has been a great day for a parade here in Humboldt. Did the mayor say they estimated 50,000 here today? He's estimated 50,000 folks have made their way to Humboldt, Tennessee. Wow. It's a lot of people, and you can see the crowd around us. In front of the school, the hillside is covered up with folks. Five and six deep at least on the medians on the side and into the sidewalk and back into the yards. A lot of folks are here today. Some more performers here. Some young ladies going to do a little dancing for us. Tony, are you going to join them? I think I'll set this one up. But we'll let you get by this time. All right. And they're going to perform there for the judges. Nice breeze moving through the area. Great day for a parade. Slightly overcast right now, which I know a lot of folks are enjoying that. It's 11.32 right now. We're an hour and a half into our parade coverage. 81 degrees right now in Humboldt. Many folks enjoying some of the great festival food here you'll find. Hamburgers, hot dogs, polar sausage, funnel cakes. And one of your favorite, Tony, I believe the deep fried Twinkies. Yes. If you hadn't tried it, John, you need to try it before they leave. Delicious food. Love the festival food. And once the parade's over today and we get the equipment taken down, I'm going to head downtown to the Humboldt Strawberry Festival Museum. Going to be down there from 2 till 5 today. Give tours, learn more about the history of Humboldt and the festival itself. So come down, learn more about that. That's 2 to 5 at the Old City Hall building there at the Humboldt Strawberry Festival Historical Museum. More young ladies make their way up Main Street. Many, many queens and many, many pageants have entries in today's parade. All the young ladies that participate in the uh, Territorial Queens Review tomorrow night at East End Elementary School has to be in the parade. That's right. In the past, there's been floats, but they've allowed cars to come in to transport the queens. Mm -hmm. Riding on the back of the convertibles. This young lady is Miss Teen Outstanding Teen, Allie Privet. Again, a special thanks to Mayor Marvin Sykes uh, for joining us today here on the air. Marvin in his first term as mayor, but also his second strawberry festival as mayor. Friends from the Jackson State Community College Sponsoring this float here and this entry and car. Another beautiful young lady. Another injury comes up here in another convertible. Young lady. They're getting lined up here in front of us, Tony. A little young lady there. Her name is Chloe Hickman, Tony. Chloe Hickman. She's about a year and a half friend of Casey's, and she's come to a couple of birthday parties. Came to Colton's birthday party. I think she wants to stay with my wife, Casey. <laughs> she's like, I'm not sure about riding this parade and all these people. That's Miss Fiddlestick Festival from Greenfield.
comes another float making its way in front of the judges and reviewing stand. Again, thanks for listening to us here at Good News at 93.1. We're so glad to have you a part of our coverage today. You can also listen to us online at goodnews931.com. Live streaming audio is available there to you this morning. We're a little over an hour and a half into our coverage. It's 1136 right now. Again, 81 degrees in Humboldt with a light breeze, which makes it a really, really nice day. Some more Queens pass. That float has a south side royalty on it. Mm-hmm. Does miss South Gibson County FFA sweetheart with Queen Hannah Wood. Chloe Patterson, the first maid, Maylie Patterson, is the driver. Following behind that is a Chevrolet Camaro convertible. That's Miss Sweetheart 2015, uh, Queen of Shelby Bellate. That's a red car. Little competition there. Got a Mustang in front of it, the Camaro behind. Both red. Both very nice looking cars. A lot of folks have gathered here in downtown Humboldt today. Of course, it's a tradition for many folks. Many, many generations have been a part of these parades now. This is number 78. Parades, uh, the festival's a little bit older than that, Tony. It goes back to 1934. Of course, during World War II, no parades were held. So that makes it a little bit older. Here's rocking and rolling down Main Street. Another yellow and red float. Again, a lot of work goes into these floats. Another band also will be approaching our way here just shortly, and we'll listen to them as they make their way to the review and stand. All those ladies have done fine. Some of our local retirement homes. You know, I appreciate the local law enforcement and the Gibson County Sheriff's Department. Tony, I believe they're directing people on both sides of us to take a turn off Main Street. I believe you're right, John. I do appreciate that. Makes it a little easier for us guys to uh, tell you what's coming our way. This Corn Festival. This Corn Fest, Sophie Tatum. With a wide convertible. This next entry is Miss Medina Springtime. Queen is Savannah Lee Smith. A Dodge Ram follows this with a, another float. Again, Tony, this has been a big parade today. A lot of folks have come out and be a part of this. A great tradition. Here in Humboldt and across the Mid-South, folks come from all around to see the West Tennessee Strawberry Festival. Family time in Humboldt. Some younger children there sitting on that float riding through the parade route. Again, thanks to our many sponsors. Tony, who made our coverage possible today. Jones Companies Limited, a longtime supporter of Good News 93.1 and our coverage of the West Tennessee Strawberry Festival and a longtime supporter of the festival. Papa Chuck's Small Engines, 
located in downtown Humboldt. Also Farmers and Merchants Bank in three-way. The Humboldt Chronicle. Dover Automotive. Sponsors for today's coverage of the West Tennessee Strawberry Festival here in Humboldt. This flow is sponsored by the Hannah. Where did I see that? Hannah and Doris's very special club house. Yeah. Tony, we're probably a little ways through halfway of this parade today. Miss Bradford, John. That's Mallory Tidwell. The driver is Anthony Martin. Next should be Miss Greenfield. Queen is Morgan Simmons. Brian Pentecost is the driver today. A lot of waving going on today, Tony. Mm -hmm. Another entry here. So that is number, I believe, 97, Tony. The Docks in Berryland. Doc McStuffin, Kids Land students. The Docks in Berryland. They're all dressed up as doctors. That little boy is smiling for the camera. He knows who to smile to. Yeah. <laughs> Kids Lands Child Care Center in Humboldt. They all enjoy being dressed up in their doctor's uniforms. They make their way down the parade route here in Humboldt. An hour and 45 minutes into our coverage now here, Tony. Been a long parade today, but a big crowd on hand. A lot of bands in the parade today, a lot of floats. A lot of folks working hard here today. That young man there carrying some cold bottled water to our friends here on the reviewing stand. Local law enforcement officers been having a time today. Got their walking shoes on today. Uh, definitely so. A lot of standing directing traffic of people today. Of course, Mayor Marvin Sykes of Humboldt told us earlier that there are over 50,000 people may be here today, and that would be a good estimate. A lot of folks in Humboldt. Here's the South Gibson County High School Marching Hornets are going to perform for us as they make their way up the parade route here in downtown Humboldt. As they make their way to the judges' stand, we'll take a listen to the Marching Hornets.
Hornets there from the South Gibson County High School in Medina. Very good band there. Very large band too, Tom. Yes. Many of our veterans are making their way up the parade now today, Tony, from the Tennessee State Veterans Home. Good bunch of folks out there. And my grandmother, who recently passed away in January, uh, was there for a couple of years. Uh, great care she received at the Tennessee State Veterans Home. Of course, Granddaddy was a World War II veteran of the Navy. Heroes in Berryland. General Nace. Gerald Nace. In the Army. 90 year old in the parade. John Western Marines. John Western in the Marines. He's 96 years old in the parade. Jim Hadley in the Army, 88 years old in the parade. Ovar Sanders, Air Force, 67 years old. Buford Mattis, Army, 88 years old. Harry Hemmer in the Army, 90 years old in the parade today for the Veterans Home. Tennessee State's Veterans Home here in Humboldt, located on East Main Street. Again, appreciate our veterans. Many and many of our World War II veterans were slowly losing them all and fastly losing them all now. Tony, not many left. Sure is great to see them get to ride through the parade today as they receive a round of applause, which they very much deserve for their service to our country. Appreciate these brave men and women. Entry today from the Tennessee State Veterans Home here in Humboldt. Great bunch of staff. Many, many people that volunteer to provide great entertainment and activities for our veterans. And they're proudly waving their American flags out the windows. And here comes some more. On their float that they have decorated too, Tony, the ones you were just telling us about. All the branches of the service here today. Carrying a large American flag behind. Many, many brave men and women. Heroes in Berryland. Again, one of my favorite entries so far in today's parade, Tony. It's 11.49 right now to coverage of the West Tennessee Strawberry Festival in Humboldt. Again, special thanks to John Brailsford back at our studios. He's board operator today in engineering for us. Appreciate his fine job he's doing. Good coming up here in just a little bit. Our very own Brad McCoy and Greg Rivers are going to be in today's parade. And a couple of convertibles that will be coming through. That's little Miss McKenzie, Queen Livy Hawkins, and little Mr. McKenzie, Nolan Fawcett. This next truck coming through, Tony, is always a popular entry in the uh, Strawberry Festival. Cook's Pest Control. Passing out fly swatters again. Mm-hmm. I've seen a few flies around here. I could use them today. Wasp. <laughs> Do you know the song, Tony? We sing it every year. Looky, looky, looky. Here, here comes Cookie. Cook's Pest Control. <laughs> That's pretty good. Man, well, we got another uh, job, Tony. Do oh, what do we call ourselves? The big boys. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> Again, Cook's Pest Control making their way down the parade route today. Great crowd on hand for today's parade. Still many, many more entries ahead of us. Well over 100 entries today. There's Miss Union City. McCall Whaley, the queen. She's got a very large crown, too, Tony. Big Queen. Mm -hmm. It's 
Lots more entries still make their way. Lots of entries in today's program. Again, we said over 100 cars in the parade. That's Mr. Miss Sweetheart. The king is Aaron Tate Jr. and the queen is Tanya Williams. Again, a nice day here in Humboldt. 81 degrees still right now. Slight breeze in the air. That's Tiny Miss Golden Tide sweetheart Gracie Vestal. Riding in today's parade. Young lady. Trying to keep the crown on her head. Tony, that crown's about as big as she is. <laughs> You're right. And coming up next here, another float. Ladies dressed in the orange and white today. For the Harless Mars, Harlan Mars Retirement Home in Trenton. Cheers for the Golden. And they ride through today's parade. I believe our very own Brad McCoy's grandmother may be uh, riding on this one. She's a resident of Harlan Mars. On board, Kathy. And uh, there she is. Catherine Whitney, Jean Cole, Carol Temple, Ruth Tharp, Linda Ziegler, Neil Braden, and is sponsored by the Harlan Mars Retirement Home in Trenton. And there's Brad's grandmother. I believe she's looking for Brad, but Brad's probably not too far behind her riding today, driving the car. Here's Miss Tennessee Iris Festival. Queen Abby, she rides through the parade today, getting her photograph made. Looks like another local law enforcement vehicle pulling uh, this uh, decorated trailer in the wet, red, white, and blue. West Tennessee Veterans Parade at Pringles Park coming up on November the 7th in Jackson. Their website to learn more about that is west10veterans.wix.com forward slash America. 427-1271 for more details. Again, a special thanks to our sponsors of today's coverage, Humboldt Pond and Sales, Farm Bureau agent Rob Deloach, Pritchard Real Estate and Appraisals, and Robin Ellis Paint and Body Shop, making our coverage possible today of the West Tennessee Strawberry Festival in Humboldt. Here's the Miss Tennessee Teen Princess, Natalie Martin, riding on the roof of a black Jeep Wrangler today. Gibson County High School marching band, Pioneers, getting ready to perform for us here in just a moment. They make their way up the parade route here. Hill on Main Street, perform for the judges and reviewing the stand. Again, we take a break as they line up, which is a very large marching band. They'll perform here in just a moment. <laughs> 